Every day we all hear a lot of folks on the radio that just have very weak transmit audio. Transmit audio has nothing whatsoever to do with RF power. That'll be a, another, uh, we'll do another video on that at another time if there's interest. But weak transmit audio, many of the newer radios, especially several of the newer Bofang models, the ASU FT65 is one also, a couple of the other newer Yesu HTs, they don't have that much mic gain, and they're designed, well, all two-way radios, regardless of what service, any, any walkie-talkie or any radio with a hand mic, they're all designed to speak right into the mic element with your lips a fraction of an inch from it. And I'll give you a little demonstration here, uh, different distances, and let you look at the, de the deviation. The FT65, the little mic element is right inside there, inside that hole right there. So if you're talking down around the keypad, or if you're talking up around the speaker, even if your lips are an inch or so from it, you're not going to have the audio deviation that you will talking right into the little hole there. And for those of us out in the field listening to you, especially if your RF signal's a little bit noisy, into the repeater you're talking into or on simplex then the audio signal to noise uh, goes down the toilet big time makes it very difficult even worse to hear and when we're in QSO somebody that has weak audio with somebody with strong audio if you notice we're all writing the volume control you got to turn it up when Joe talks and then turn it down when Frank talks and turn it to a different setting when Bill talks etc if we were all to have the same 5 kilohertz of deviation by talking right into the mics with the mic gain setting where they should be and everything, everyone would be pretty much the same audio level. We'll now look at a deviation meter here. And I'm going to speak into the radio service monitor has a built-in load so I'm not going out over the air here and with uh, with uh, 20 to 30 kc channel spacing and 5 kilohertz of deviation typical average deviation using an analog meter uh, should be in the ballpark of three and a half four four kc or so a good hard whistle should go up to 5 kc and it should clip at 5 kc and not go over that like it like it did now, I am talking my lips are almost touching I'm almost kissing the grill of my radio and my lips are right there over the little hole where the mic is I now just move down and I'm talking into the touch tone pad note how my deviation is only 2 kilohertz Talking into the speaker, it comes up a little bit better, but not quite to when you're right over the grill. Also, I'm going to now hold the radio about two inches away from my mouth, and notice how far the deviation is down compared to speaking right into it. I'm going to hold the radio about six inches away from my mouth. There's going to be hardly any audio there at all. Again, right into the uh, little hole in the where the mic element is, and... There we go. Good, normal, average deviation.